Learn XTD. Customizing your Linux. What's going on, big dogs? This is Lernix, and today we're going to show you how to customize your Linux, make it look snazzy. So let's just get right into the meat of this. First of all, go through the system settings here and look for it. There it is, appearance. And you have all of these neat little things to play around with to your heart's fucking content. So, we got some themes. Themes are <laughs> extremely easy to mess with. It has, well, a few base styles, of course, and these are pretty basic. Mint X, which is, you know, kind of different looking. A little bit more shadowy, I suppose. Mint L, nobody wants to take a L. Mint Y, my least favorite is Mint Y. My favorite is Mint X, pretty tough. Looks like, looks like sheet metal. And obviously you can change whether it's light or dark and the colors. And advanced settings is something a little bit more granular. Obviously you get to play around with a lot more and make it all individual, you know, if you fancy that. Now this seems all well and good, except what if we want to install a custom theme and we're like, I don't want to do this basic shit. Well, that's exactly what I'm here for. So let's fuck around with it and let's get something that's a little bit more, a little bit more our style. Let's get right into the meat of this. Now, Linux Mint uses cinnamon, so we want cinnamon themes. So we're going to go to a, a website, this is the one I use from all of my themes, called Cinnamon Look. Now, your mileage may vary because of the fact that if you're not using Linux Mint Cinnamon, then you just go to your respective website, um, you know, Mate Look, or um, what is it, XFCE Look, they all have their own websites, you know insert desktop environment here look now we're in cinnamon look cinnamon look is fucking chock full of cool little themes for you to dip your fingers in and you know give a try just stick your thumb in the pie and fucking see what you do with it right you're gonna have a lot of fun with this so if you want to be a real cool guy cool neon cyberpunk kind of dude got some vortex dark or if you're more of a more of an angel than a devil you know vortex light Relax, relax. Heisenberg says relax. You know, that kind of shit. So let's get something that, that, that piques our interest, right? You know, I'm feeling like more of a Windows 10 kind of deal. Now, here's actually another lesson. Themes are not cut and dry. You don't just have, well, there are themes in a certain file, but not all of them are going to go in the same directory necessarily. So the, for instance, this is an icon theme. An icon theme is not the same as a theme theme, if that makes sense. Let's just download a little icon theme. I mean, whatever the fuck this is, right? There's a lot of, I don't want to go through the, the song and dance of looking through this, this this fucking labyrinth of options. I just want to give me what I want, right? Now we got our icon theme in tar XZ format. Now I'm going to teach you a fun little lesson, something that's gonna, really going to rile your feathers. I'm in the terminal right here, very spooky. Now. I'm going to teach you one thing. First of all, if you want to go to your home directory, which is, let me remind you, home and uh, Lernix TV for me. So if I go to home slash Lernix, this is where your documents, downloads, etc. is. That is your personal directory. If I want to get there as a shortcut from the terminal, well, let me teach you one command first. If you don't already know this command, you should. It's called CD, which means change directory. So if I put CD slash, and by the way, a single slash is the root directory where all other directories come from. Bam, I'm in the root. Now, how do I get back to home? Well, first you press CD. And then what you want to do is put tilde slash dot slash. Bam! Now I'm back in my home directory. Here's another command for you. If I put ls, that means list. So if I put ls as in list, it lists all of the things in the directory that I'm in, which happens to be the home directory. Keep these in mind. cd change directory, tilde slash um, dot tilde, and that's backslash by the way, is your home directory, basically in shortcut terms. And then ls is listing everything in a directory. Now, if I wanted to go there the hard way, like a, like a fucking chump, right? And I could put cd slash home slash Lernix, and it'll take me to the same place, but that's a shortcut. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to get to our downloads. That's where our icons are stored. So let's get in there. Let's, let's fucking, you know, stick our hands in the engine here, get a little oil change. So, bam, tilde, backslash, dot, tilde, and I'm like, okay, I'm in the home directory, so how do I get to my downloads? Just type downloads. That's it. And bam, we're fucking in. Now if I put ls, it lists all of the things in the directory. 
if I want to unzip this tar file, because first of all, let me just open the browser back up, uh, back. What the fuck is a tar file? What is this shit? This is just a weird, weird, uh, the weird unknown file format. All I know are zip files because I'm a Windows guy, right? I'm going to tell you a little secret. A tar file is just like a zip file. It's, I mean, yeah, functionally the same. The only difference is that you don't use another application to unzip it. All you do is use tar which is the command used to unzip tar files. Now for 90% of tar files, all you're going to have to do is do tar-xvf, the arguments x and v and f. You can look those uh, uh, arguments up if you want on your own time. I'm not going to because, well, that's just what you do. So tar-xvf, and then I'm like putting a w, and I'm going to uh, press tab button in order to complete the file name. tar-xvf, and then these are the files. So bam. A bunch of fucking shit pops up on the screen. I look here and miraculously my downloads, a folder, actually two folders with the icons that I want are magically here. They've just appeared miraculously. You may be asking yourself, what am I supposed to do with these folders? I have, I've, I've gotten my, my icons. I've extracted my icons from the tarball. This is a lot of hard work. I'm sweating fucking bullets right now. Hold your horses. Don't worry. We're almost done. Now that you've done all of this hard, laborious work, we're going to go back to our home directory. Fun fact, you can open another tab, and then you might be asking, well, nothing here, no themes or nothing. Go to view, and you're going to click a secret little button here. It's called show hidden files, and fucking what do you know? A bunch of hidden files pop up. In the icons directory, all you really got to do is stick these bad boys in there, or you can cut them, and what do you know? Voila, you're good. Now if I go back to my appearance, and I'll just close it and reopen it just for good measure, because sometimes you got to let that guy catch up, right? We're too fast for him. Go to themes, and I'm going to go to advanced and icons. Let's look for the icons that we installed. Now none of these are the ones that we installed, except these two, and that's because we put them in the .icons directory inside your home folder. Now, bada bing bada boom, they work. I'm a real Windows 10 guy, and I got my real Windows 10 icons, because I'm quite a fucking savant, right? I know what I'm doing. I got skills. You might be asking yourself, what about the other shit? All right, let's, let's take it to the next level. Let's find an entire theme to make our whole system look like proprietary fucking garbage. Let's find something that looks like Windows. And actually, let me give you another tip. There is a guy who makes themes, I don't know if it's a guy or it's actually a team of people, called Boomerang. Boomerang Project. They make a shitload of themes that are derived from multiple other operating systems, obviously the most famous of which is Windows. Desktop themes, and bam, Windows themes, what is this? A whole assortment of just proprietary garbage in theme form. So. I want to make my whole thing look like wind bloat 10 because there's something clinically wrong with me and that's okay. You know, we all got our quirks and I'm not going to knock you for it. Actually I am, but that's okay. We got to look in the compatibility. Is this compatible with cinnamon? Yes sir. Hell yeah. It is. So that means we can just, what do you know, click it, download it, or wait to download it because some websites like to make you wait to punch a fucking ticket to download a Windows 10 theme. And you're like, wait. This is a zip file. Well, what do I do now? We just defeated the tar boss and now you got a whole nother issue to deal with? Don't worry. For all of you proprietary guys, um, you can open this and extract this in a very similar manner to how you would with WinZip or 7-Zip. You obviously right click it, open up Archive Manager, and it's gonna open this neat little menu for you to extract it. Extract, extract, and it's done. And what do you know, the whole world is just fine. We had an icons folder. What about the themes folder? Don't worry, it's the same deal. Go to home, and then one, you make sure you got your hidden files on because they're sneaky. They're trying to hide away, and you're not gonna let those motherfuckers slither out of your hands. Go to themes, paste the folder as you would as usual. And that's it. Go to system settings, back to your appearance, and with all of these gross looking icons, I'm going to uh, trudge through this mess of fucking nonsense here. And then, let's look for it. Let's play spot the difference. Oh, I think that looks different. Bam. And then let's just take it up a notch. Oh, I want my buttons different. Oh, there it is. Bam. What about my cursor? So I'm going to give you the right answer on your query in your head right now. Why don't you change the cursor? Okay, doesn't look Windowsy enough. Let's change the fucking cursor. 
look up cursors Linux and let's just see what we can find no fucking Roblox cursors dude comics cursors punk bone cursor you know what I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose the bone cursor this looks ridiculous so yeah we're getting the bone cursor so if you want to download your own anatomically accurate cursor wait for the download the arbitrary time limit uh, to let the servers breathe because people are downloading bone cursors at an alarming rate and they need a time limit enforced on your download so that you don't overflow your computer with zip files full of bone cursors i've got the bone cursor here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna slap this cursors folder into my themes theme there it is and we're just gonna merge these folders and replace the bone cursors with the bone cursors. Now, as you can see, I have gotten the bone cursor. I am a true boner. I hope this Linux tutorial has assisted you in making your Linux look like Windows, whatever you, the fuck you want, the Mac OS, whatever the fuck you want, making it any color you want, a splash of paint here, a splash of paint there. And of course, the lovely bone cursor, who could forget it? If you want your own bone cursor, Go to this website and download the bone cursor and follow the instructions that I showed you in this video. I promise it's worth it. Have a nice day. Peace out, big dogs.